Every time there's an interest rate hike, Canada's big banks respond predictably. Mortgage rates seem to be changing almost instantaneously with the Bank of Canada announcements. They're quick to raise interest rates on mortgages and loans, but slow to raise interest rates paid on savings accounts. At the big five banks, variable mortgage rates are at more than 5%, while a basic savings account earns just a fraction of 1%. Even a so-called high-interest savings account comes in at less than 2%. It wasn't always this way. Banks often used to adjust their savings rate the same week as the Bank of Canada rate decision. Back in 1979, customers' savings accounts could earn interest at a stunning 9.25%. Now it seems the past 15 years of record low interest rates have conditioned consumers to expect little. I don't think that it's fair if you stop to think about it. Well, I think they should raise the uh, interest rate on savings accounts. I don't really know if they have people's best interests in mind. We asked the big five banks to explain. They insisted their rates are competitive and they offer many ways for customers to earn interest. GICs are paying out 5% if customers are willing to lock up their money. What do you make of these interest rates on savings accounts? So interest rates on savings accounts are definitely low. The concentration of the banking sector is quite high in Canada and, and the Canadian households are not very likely to switch to another banks. In the UK this month, lawmakers grilled bank CEOs on this very topic. In Australia, the consumer watchdog is investigating whether the banks are taking advantage. Here at home, experts say smaller banks or credit unions offer consumers an alternative. And shopping around could prompt the big banks to take notice. Definitely look at moving your money as soon as possible just to try and kind of emphasize and um, get those better rates for yourselves. Because at a time of high inflation, every dollar counts. Nisha Patel, CBC News, Toronto.